Hi everyone, it's Max at Polar Audio here. We are the official UK distributor for radial tone bone pedals. And in this video, we're gonna be having a look at the tone bone plexi tube, which is your quintessential Marshall in a box, giving you a load of voicing options to take you from everything from classic plexi stacks of the late 60s and early 70s, right through to more modern JCM type sounds that you'll hear in metal music and heavy rock. <laughs> So to begin with, it's essentially a dual mode pedal. Unlike the tri mode, it doesn't have separate drive for each channel, but it does have separate levels and a great deal of voice controls in terms of mids, um, scoops and, and boosts. And we'll have a look at those right now, um, starting off with some vintage kind of AC DC type sounds and then moving the gain right up um, to hear how that brings out some of the sort of more modern metal type sounds. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at the pedal and the controls and voicing options on offer, going from right to left from our input stage. It is a true bypass pedal as well, so you've got a very nice clean signal going into your amp, so you've got a nice clean channel there um, just to keep your tone pure. Starting on the right, we've got a, a single drive control. This basically obviously sets the level of overdrive on the amp. Um, there's only one drive control on this particular pedal. The focus is on giving you more voicing options for the two channels to switch between rhythm and lead. So we've got a separate contour control for each channel. This is a sort of master mid control that either boosts the mids or scoops them out a bit for you. Then we've got low and high EQ, standard EQ settings. And finally, we've got separate level controls for channels one and two. So you can basically boost level two for your solo or vice versa if you want it to sit back a bit and control the relative volume of those. Moving through the voicing switches, we've got a mid boost um, which basically goes from off a flat signal 7 dB or 12 dB to really sweeten up your, your lead tones. And then we've got separate voicing options for channel one and two. So we've got two scoop settings, which is shallow and deep um, for sort of more metallic sort of hard edge sounds or a fatter fat switch, which is gonna further boost the mid range to give you sort of more classic rock, more sort of warm sounds. Um, and they can be set independently for for channel one and two. So you can have a nice tight sort of rhythm sound um, with a scoop and then really boost the mids on your, on your lead channel on channel two. Finally, there's a master top end which basically controls the presence and the, and the high end response of the amp and how much bite in, there is in there. <laughs> In this video, I'm playing my Washburn N4 guitar, which is a two humbucker guitar. So we're gonna basically get some typical kind of Gibson, Les Paul, SG type sounds coming out of this. I'm also playing through a completely clean, single channel Fender Blues Junior 3. Here is my clean tone. So any overdrive or saturation here is coming entirely from the plexi tube. So we're gonna start off listening to a kind of classic AC-DC type sound with plenty of mids, fairly low gain, and uh, give you an idea of uh, how you kick off in the lower gain settings. So to kick things off, we've got everything pretty much set to 12 o'clock on the tone front. Um, the drive is at about three o'clock. Uh, we've got the mid boost cut out, um, we've, but we've got, uh, we've got a slight boost to the mids on channel one, and the same on channel two. Uh, we're going to leave the top end flat and that should give us a nice sort of crunchy mid-range sound um, that Malcolm and Angus Young would be proud of. So let's have a listen to how that sounds. Now if we switch over to channel two, I can boost the level slightly, maybe bring in a bit of the scoop to add a bit of thump to the sound. And we've got a nice lead tone there. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to go for a more modern sort of 80s type sound now. We're going to crank up the gain uh, up to about the halfway point. We're going to scoop out some of the mids on the channel 1 to make our rhythm sound a bit tighter. Um, boost the mids on channel 2 to give us a nice solo sound. And going to bring that top end out to give it a bit more definition that you might hear on a, on a later recording with a, with a studio mic on the, on the cab. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to channel 2 on this medium gain setting uh, to give a more singing, um, slightly level boosted solo tone. So let's check that out. Okay, so that was a medium gain setting, so let's really up the ante, crank the gain right up and go into sort of super hot rodded JCM territory. And uh, it's got a 12AX7 tube in there, just like the tri-mode. So basically that really gives us a natural overdrive and helps us preserve a lot of note clarity. I'll do an alternate picking run so you can hear a lick with a lot of pick attack. And I'll do some tapping so you can hear the, the note definition works great in, in both those styles, whether you're a staccato or legato player. <laughs> Like the tri mode, the plexi tube also has a handy effects loop on the second channel, which means you can dial in a delay, leave it on, set and forget and there's no tap dancing involved. You just switch from your dry channel one to your channel two that's already got the effects on it. So let's have a listen to a melodic riff with and without uh, the delay and you'll see that kicks in as we switch between the two channels. <laughs> So that was the tri-mode plexi tube. I hope you enjoyed those examples and gave you a flavour of the pedal. It's your quintessential Marshall in a box, so plenty of tones in there for you to dial in. If you like the sound of the plexi tube, um, but can live without the two-channel operation and the effects loop, there's also the tone bone Hot British, which is essentially the same overdrive circuit with the tube in there, same voicing options, but just in a one-channel model. For a more compact transistor-based version, there's also the Bones London, which is based on the same British style distortion and overdrive, um, but dispenses with the tube, uh, but does still retain the two-channel operation. If you'd like to hear a demo of this particular pedal, please leave a comment below and we'll get around to doing a video for that too. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe. There'll be plenty more demos coming up, guitar-wise, bass-wise, and so forth. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. I've been Max Polar Audio. Thanks very much. <laughs>